Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Factorio Let's Play. This is episode 10. And uh, when we last left off, we were needing some copper plates because we we're going to make some big old, big old electrical poles. Um, and we have done so. Uh, oh, we already brought some down here. I didn't, I didn't realize we brought some power down here. It's okay though. I'll bring another one over here. Actually, that might not need to go down there. Let's try and use some of these medium ones. Nah. We'll bring it over here with the big one. There we go. Alright, so we are getting petroleum gas. And light oil. And heavy oil. Alright, I think we could use I think we could do it a couple more pumps now. So let's go ahead and make two more, what are they called? Uh, pump jacks. All right, we don't have enough for two, that's okay. One will do fine for now. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, go like that. And come on, man. See, that's why you wanna have electric circuits in your uh, in your bag, because it makes things so much quicker. I don't see any biters down in this south, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think we have to worry about... We probably don't even have to worry about these guys. I think these guys are the problem. They should be attacking pretty soon. We might have to go wipe them out. All right, Pump Jack. Come on. Damn. There we go. And we'll give it some power. And we'll pump it right into there. All right, that should help with the uh, with the oil output. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is we're going to use this petroleum uh, petroleum gas. And again, this is all very new to me. I've done this before, but I only did it once, and like I'm not 100% on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our chemical plant, and let's do it this way. And that's good right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna pump the petroleum into it. Okay. And then we get to choose what we want to make next. And I think what we're gonna make is no, I must have missed something. No, there we go. Sulfur. So let's uh, start that bad boy up on the sulfur. Okay, now that should start making sulfur. Right? No, it needs water. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, that's an easy fix. Let's grab the uh let's grab a pump jack. If I can make one. I'm starting to get confused on where things are. There we go. Offshore pump. All right, let's go grab some uh some more circuits. Come on, circuits. Oh man, look at that iron now. That's what I'm talking about, people. That is what I'm talking about. Ton of circuits, love it. Wait, 300 and something? How many circuits are in a stack? Oh Jesus, I didn't realize how many circuits is in a stack. One stack will be fine. All right, offshore pump. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good right now. Let's grab some more, uh... How many pipes we got? Pretty good on pipes. Let's grab the ammo. And the steel. And the iron. Inventory's full. I really should drop this coal off somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's drop some of this coal off. Here we go. Check this out. Whoops. Whoops. Control, right? There we go. Look at it. Love it. I love the way this game works where you can put stuff in inventories. All you do is hold down control and left click and it just puts it in there. It's freaking sweet. Okay, offshore pump. These coming down. Uh, I put that the wrong way. Maybe. Let's make a couple more offshore pumps. Why not? 
can't. Hmm. Oh well, I guess that is the right way. It just doesn't look the right way to me, but it is. Pipe the ground. There we go. And we're now making sulfur. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need, I think, is another chemical plant. Let's put some lights down here too. This should be piped to ground right here. Much better. Lights. Some of this should be piped to ground as well. Oops. There we go. And let's, uh... Let's make some more pipe to ground, because we're going to need it. Okay. Can only hold 50 sulfur, huh? Let's grab 50 sulfur out of there. Okay, so what was the other thing we needed? Uh, here we go. Chemical plant. Put that right there. And in here, we're going to want to make sulfuric acid. We're going to need iron plates, water. The water is not a problem. Oops. Oh, right like that. Uh, that's not going to work. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to need uh, the sulfuric acid. That's a piece of cake. Boom. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. And that's still not getting power. Damn it. Oh, that's enough. Well, this isn't getting power. That's okay. Okay. Dump all you in there. Now we have to run a little bit of iron down here. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. As a matter of fact... We could probably take advantage of this iron thing right here and just make our own. Like, specifically for this. Right? We could do that. Because, you know, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know if running iron that far down is really a good idea. Or maybe, maybe it's a good idea. It's not, it's not really a necessity, though. So it's got to go into there, so let's do this. Whoops. Oh, it's got to go up one more. There we go. That can go right there. Then what we'll do is we'll put this bad boy... Right. Right here. On, off... Oh, wow, that'll work out nicely, actually. Hold on, check this out. Some of it will go by, though. Yeah. Some of it might go by. Well, it really shouldn't. Hold on, let's see how this will work. Nope, it doesn't have power. Duh. Still doesn't have power. Oh, so close. Now that should be able to keep up with it. Okay. Now we need an output for this. What's the next part? What do we need for this? I think we're going to need another chemical plant. Let's go get some more coal. I will just 
feed this thing manually every once in a while. It'll just be easier that way. I think the uh, I think this thing lasts for a long time. Although I really should start making electric ones. Okay, so you can go in there. Now it's definitely gonna get backed up. Eh, whatever. If it gets backed up, it's not that. It's not the end of the world. Okay, 15. Why is it only making 15? It, it could probably only hold 15. Alright, so let's grab the next one. And... Let's put the next one right here. Actually, what is the next one going to need? I don't know. Let's just put it down and see what it can make. Here we go, plastic. It needs coal. Maybe we should roll run some coal over here. What do the batteries need? Copper. Yeah, we're going to have to run copper over here as well. We could just run... Well, we got some iron already set up. We could do the same thing with copper. Besides, this, is probably, this will probably be the next copper mine we hit anyway. Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. I have enough tracks for this. All right, copper. You've got to get to here. So why don't we run you underground? I'm trying to see where I want to do this. I want the batteries before I want the plastic, believe it or not. Once I make batteries, I can start making laser turrets, and laser turrets are OP as hell. Alright, so copper plates, iron plates, you can grab iron from there. Uh, so let's move it up a bit. Put this bad boy right there. So that's the iron. Uh, I've got to get the sulfuric, sulfuric acid up there as well. Well then, let's move it over here. Does it matter if you put them right next to each other? I don't think so. I don't see why it would. Oh, it's outputting the uh, sulfuric acid right into it because they're right next to each other. I didn't know it would do that. Well, that's really cool then. Okay, so that's fine. So then we could just move this down a little bit more. We get a little bit of wasted, a little bit of wasted iron here. Not that big of a deal to be honest. Okay. So now we just need to run the copper over there. Uh, copper can go right over top. So I'm thinking like right here. Come on, man. Work with me here. Can you normally run belts right o right over water like that? I mean, I guess it's like the edge, so. Okay. So now what we'll do is we will make another one of these steel furnaces. I just made a bunch, didn't I? Just one, but just one, boy. Just one. And we will set up the furnace as close to the end of the line as possible. Um, doesn't go there. Um, eh, that's a good spot for the furnace. We're going to need coal as well. Now, what do we need the coal for? We need the coal for plastic. So I'm thinking the next one will probably be plastic. We're going to have to run coal down here. There's just no two ways about it. Okay, so another one of these. I 
Actually, hold on, I got a better idea for this. So you're good. You need the copper. And you are going to need Ooh, petroleum gas. Is that what this is getting? Petroleum gas? No. Where's the that's a petroleum gas? Alright, so this is getting petroleum gas. Okay, so let's move this down. Uh so this is going to need petroleum gas for the plastic. Alright, so you can go right... There. Looks good as any, I guess. Should be getting petroleum gas and it's just going to need coal. Coal can come from... Well, what else needs coal? This needs coal. And this needs coal. Be nice if they were all together. Let's see if we can get all the stuff that needs coal in one spot. Alright guys, I'm back. I hate building too much off camera. Uh, I really don't want to design this entire thing and then just come back and show you what I've done. Uh, but it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, difficult to like build on camera and try and figure things out because a lot of times I'm just thinking and I'm not saying anything and that might be a little boring for you guys. So I think I have an idea. And we're gonna build it. We're gonna build it together. Okay. So as you can see right here, this is gonna be the copper part coming up here. This is gonna be the iron part. These are gonna be where stuff is gonna get cooked. Okay. This is going to be the first chemical plant, which is going to be outputting sulfur. Uh, we just need to get the petroleum gas in there. So let's do that now. Mm, right here, and go underground. If I have any underground pipes, it seems like I do. I might. My inventory is such a mess. I, I could have some underground pipe somewhere, but whatever. We're going to need more anyway. Oh, yeah, I did have some. Oh, well. We're going to need more anyway. So we'll go like that. And we'll go like that. And that didn't work. Let's try that again. That and that. And then we should be able to go this way. Are we really out of pipes? Yep. Made too much underground pipes. Right, let's go get some pipes. We should be checking up on the base anyway. I think this is gonna work out. I think this is gonna work out. This is um, you know, this whole, this whole uh, dealing with with uh, this whole dealing with um, you know, oil is a little very new to me. So, bear with me, please. Por favor, that would be awesome. Uh, what did I come back for? Yeah, pipes. I'm going to get stone. What do I, I don't need stone. I need pipes, Gage. Come on, man. Get with it. Okay, we got some pipes. Look at them go. Making more pipes. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to do is we're going to come on down here. And we're going to hook these bad boys up. R? No? Not going to work. Okay. Fair enough. So how do we get this up there? I have a way to do it. I really don't want to do it that way, though. It's got to go pipe the ground. Yeah. No, there's no other way to do it. All right. Then we're going to have to... Output's going to be up top. So this can go... To there? Let's try that. Do the underground pipe here. And then we'll take this like this. There we go. It's a little... It's not... It's not the way I wanted to do it, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so that goes underneath there. So you have everything you need. Okay? Now he's got to output into the next chemical plant. Um, I, did, did they output automatically? I thought they output automatically. Let's, let's put this right next to the other one and see. Yeah, that should output automatically right into this. 
it's not well it's not making anything so well we're gonna we're gonna need to know if it's gonna output automatically or not so let's uh let's just build some quick power up here no it's not okay so it doesn't output automatically i thought it might have all right so these need to be separated could have swore it did it last time but all right so you can go there and you're gonna need water iron and the acid so the water can come up like here that's not gonna work yeah these are uh, these ground the ground the pipe things are really screw me over really badly uh, all right so this can go right here and here here and here There we go. That's not going to work either. Oh boy. You start, you start getting this st stuff really close. And you have a real hard time. Uh, Alright, let's do it this way. There we go. Again, it's it's pretty pretty messy down there, but I don't know. It's, it's all right, I guess. Okay, so you're getting everything you need. You should be getting water, but you're not. Why aren't you getting water? Maybe he doesn't get water until he starts working. I don't know. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's make the inserter for you. And you're also going to need the iron plates. That should be on this belt right here. Let's start. Uh, let's start making this stuff work, so we we can see if it's gonna work or not. Uh, these things have got to get coal. The coal should be coming in on this belt below. So let's bring the coal in. All right. We might want to. Uh, we might want to do something something with these oil things right here, so we will avoid them. Whoops. Okay. Use a splitter right here. And you can come down here, and there we go. Here comes the coal. All right, now let's see where we're going to put our power lines. Uh, well, let's put our inserters first. Inserter. Shut up, timer. Inserter. Uh, yeah. No, I can't go there. We're not going to need a long arm. Oh, we are going to need a long arm inserter for one of these. So those two are for the coal. This is for the iron. This is for the copper. Um, I'm not sure where I want to output them. Actually, if it's on a separate line, we don't even need this. This could just be the end of the line right here. And that'll be the output line. So we're going to need two of these outputting onto there. And to there. Can we put another thing? Can we put another track there? Nope. Uh, can we put another track here? Yep. So what we'll do is we'll switch these around. There. There. Long arm. There. There. Long arm pulling in copper. Short arm pulling in iron. We don't need that track. We don't need that track. I think we're good. Let's uh, see where we're going to put down our power. This power will power everything. And then this power will power everything. And then this will connect it. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, we still have to power our copper.
All right, copper's powered. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. The only problem is the output is going to be on the same track. That's not going to work for me. Um, let's let's halt the copper. Yeah, the copper and iron are going to be on the same track. What do we need copper for again? I forget. I think we need the copper for... Hold on, let me see. We need the copper for the plastic. No. Wait, what do we need the copper for? I don't remember. How do you cancel it? There we go. Sulfuric acid's being made. All that stuff's being made. What do we need the copper for? Oh, the batteries. That's right. Okay. And we're going to need the iron. So we want the copper and iron on the same belt. Oh, this is going to be tricky. All right, guys. My timer went off a little while ago. I'm going to figure this part out in between videos, and I'll see you next time. That's going to be it for episode 10. See you next time for episode 11. Until then, take it easy.